Let's shift the conversation to some quick fire questions. Of course, another opportunity for us to get to know you a little bit better. And I would like to start off with this question. You spoke recently about the fact that squash is about the passion, it's about the love, it's not necessarily about the finances. But what do you absolutely love about the sport of squash? For me, it's like every day, 45 minutes, getting on court, having the sweat of your life. I just, I love having my heart rate go up. eh? I will push until like I can't breathe anymore. So it's for me, it's like a healthy sport. It's a, you know that you're getting on court 45 minutes and you're having a complete workout from head to toe. So the quickness of it, um, knowing that you have a good 45 minutes, um, being so healthy, um, getting to know more people. Um, yeah, that's like, it's just an absolutely amazing sport. I don't know if it's just because I've grew, grown up with a sport, and but I just, it's like it's an addiction. I don't think I'll ever stop playing, ever. I think I'll, I'll be that one that's on 90, still, still play squash. I did oh. play squash. I did play squash when I was pregnant, eh? up until the end. Are you serious? I promise you. Oh Everyone's like, God. are you crazy, woman? Obviously not like the running, like the hectic running, but I did not stop. Two weeks before, I was like, okay, now I need to stop because his belly is getting too big. Wow. Okay. No, that that takes passion to, to the next level. To the next level. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wow. That's absolutely crazy. Tell me a little bit about some of your toughest opponents on the court thus far throughout your whole career. Um, look, Milne, the one I played now last month, she's a very tough competitor. If you don't know her game, um, she can be very, very dangerous. I knew the other girls were struggling a bit, but I know, like, I've been analysing games and doing my homework, so I kind of knew her game. But I'm going to go, like, Alex Fuller has been my most competitive. She's so fast on the court and she's so experienced. And I'm, I think with all her training and all her um, actually going overseas and playing tournaments there and getting all the exposure is just been amazing for her. So, yeah, she's, she's most definitely the most competitive one, like a struggle against her. I think it's just also just a mental thing, eh? Yes, I think usually yeah. with these athletes, it's just that psychological edge um, yeah. that they they might have over you or you might have yeah. over them as yeah. well. But you talk about athletes going abroad and competing internationally as well. Are there any non-South African players that you would possibly like to face on the international circuit as well? Um, I'd like to just to see how I do against them. Like a Shabini and a Camille Sim and a Hannah Mammy, maybe a Joelle King, um, Goha, because she's like fast pace and I like fast pace. Um, yeah. Like just to see how I do against them, I'd love to play them. <laughs> I love how you get so excited about it. Absolutely beautiful. Let's talk a little bit about playing doubles. Are there any non-South African players or possibly um, South African players that you would love to team up with in terms of doubles um, category? Look, I've played with um, JP Brits. Um, he's a South African um, pro player. So I've played with him once in one of the national doubles. Um we came second, but he's quite a like he's a nice nice player to play against. But if I could team up with anybody else, like Megawad, he's from Egypt. I think he's an amazing player. <laughs> and then my my idol is Camille Sum. Mm. Love to play with her. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Hopefully that comes through one day, eh? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and then in terms of your, your favourite courts, um, which courts are your favourites, locally and internationally? Look, I haven't played on many, like, different courts internationally. I went to China, Dalian, in 2018 with the, the um, South African um, lady side. So I would say... Definitely China because it's like a glossy type of court. Um, 
everything blue, like it was just like first experience, so amazing. And then locally, I'm going to say, I'm going to go with my, my club. I love the courts and it's just so clean and it's so, the courts are beautiful and it's it's my home court. Oh, beautiful. I see um, local is lacquer, huh? Keeping yeah, it local. Like- <laughs> It's the truth. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's talk a little bit about different sporting codes. Now, everybody knows that COVID-19 has completely changed the game and completely changed the world of sports quite drastically. If you were told that you could not play squash for a year, which sport would you compete in professionally in that particular 12 months? Um, oh, word. Firstly, a lot of tears because I can't go without my squash. <laughs> there um, has to be something. Let me go with. I actually did the Ironman corporate the last the past weekend. Oh wow! And sure, except for the swimming in the sea, that's not a not a strong side I have. But the running and the cycling, I think I'm going to go with triathlon. Sure. That's uh, a yeah. wow. I thought you would rather go with something like tennis. I no, imagine it's a completely different challenge. Completely, exactly. But the heart rate goes on and it's long and it's challenging and it's I like that. I, I think what I think what I'm getting from you is that you absolutely love pushing your body to the maximum. I do. I do. <laughs> My husband Beautiful. shouts at me because sometimes I'm a little bit sick or um not up to it or I'm tired and I'll still push through. Absolutely beautiful. I just love your competitive spirit as well. Let's talk a little bit about the things that you do off the court. What do you do on a day in and day out basis off the court? And what do you absolutely love doing? I know that you're a mommy of four as well. You're a wife as well. But when we take you away from the squash court, what do you get up to? Um, I like cooking and baking. Okay. Actually, I know it's weird, but I do. Um, uh, Morris is a bike, so we like to go for cruises, like on a Saturday or Sunday. We go cruising on the bike. Um, Camping, love camping. And then obviously, like, just spending time with the kids and having family time, social time with friends, mostly the family. Um, what else is there? I work every morning. Um, what work do you do? Maurice and I have a business together, electrical business. So I do all the book, the bookkeeping side of it. Um, yeah. So I'll work from eight till 12 and then it's mom duties in the afternoon and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, that's about me. You're locked onto the Sport MVT Insider, a podcast for unrelenting coverage of women in sport. Coming up this Friday, our athletes, coaches and administrators answer the questions that you have always wondered about. If you haven't sent through your questions yet, just slide into our DMs, tell us your name, where you're from and leave your questions and we will make sure that we ask them. Keep it locked onto Sport MVT, where we celebrate women in sport. Oh,